Born in Detroit, Michigan, collage artist Michael Walshack began his adult life not on the assembly line or in the glow of Moultown's West Grand Boulevard, but as an English teacher in New England. He not only taught English, he helped establish theater programs in three different schools. He spent the later part of his teaching career at Brooks School in Andover, Massachusetts. The school encouraged its teachers to explore avenues of interest related to, but unlike, their normal fields of study. Michael was intrigued by the visual arts and he began to take classes first at the Museum School in Boston and then at the Fine Arts Work Center in Provincetown. He found he had an affinity for collage and enjoyed working with an array of materials, including different papers, textures, colors, shapes, and his own drawings. I like to construct work, Michael says, then deconstruct and reinvent it. In 2010, Michael retired from teaching full-time and began to pursue the visual arts as a second career. He moved to Provincetown, and although he enjoyed his time there, he found the winters isolating and decided to move to Providence. Closer to Boston and New York, where his daughter lives, Michael could take advantage of cities both large and small. He is currently taking a bookmaking class at the Rhode Island School of Design and just had an exhibit at the Gallery of the First Unitarian Church in Providence. Michael's collages are vivid, bold creations best described as painting with paper. He eschews using other people's imagery. There are no cut up magazine pictures or printouts of clip art in his collages. Instead, he draws and paints his ideas, then rips or cuts the drawings into shapes and reconstructs them along with vibrant colored papers. As a theater director, Michael was used to creating a microcosm on stage. I used visual elements, colors, moods, and environment, he says, to create these worlds in which people function. In many ways, he is doing the same thing now on a more intimate scale.